I'm very proud to introduce you to the risotto alla carbonara, a fantastic creamy dish I made for you with love. Mm. Mm. To make risotto alla carbonara, we need, first of all, the guanciale, which is the pork chick. You can use pancetta if you can find it. You can use speck. You can use cute bacon you can use, okay? But that's it, nothing else. For this recipe, we're using 150 grams. Then we need 300 grams of carnaroli rice. It's a perfect rice for risotto. You can use arborio if you can find carnaroli. We need one liter of vegetable stock, but you can also use chicken stock if you like. Please make sure the stock is hot or very warm, okay, when you make risotto. We need half glass of white wine, four generous amounts of pecorino cheese, half onion chopped into pieces, 50 grams of butter, three eggs, salt and pepper, and extra virgin olive oil. First thing we want to do is to cut the guanciale, okay? The guanciale, as you can see, has the skin here, which we don't want to eat, and here is the, the part we want to eat, okay? As you can see, it comes with fat, meat fat. So what we do is let's remove the skin. And here we go. Once the skin is gone, we want to cut the guanciale into strips. And this is what I like to do. Nice, thin strips, okay? And once you have the strips, what you do is, you wanna cut into each, in each strip like that. So basically, you wanna have the fat, the meat, and the fat again, okay? That's what you wanna have. Also what the guanciale has, as you can see here on top, it's got the flavors, like the pepper, the salt, the garlic, you know, all the flavors that you want. The reason why you don't, you don't need garlic in carbonara or anything else is because the flavors are here in the guanciale, okay? So if you use bacon, you don't get the flavors. If you're using salami, you don't get the flavor. If you're using speck, you don't get that, okay? Pancetta is the closest one to guanciale. It is very important. The, guys, the first thing we want to do when cooking carbonara is cooking the guanciale, okay? So, no oil, just put the guanciale in a pan and on a gently heat, you know, low heat, you want to cook this guanciale, okay? Don't stress the guanciale, please. Gently, we cook it for about five to a maximum of seven minutes or until it becomes crispy. The smell that goes into my nostril is sensational. See, we're very lucky here in Australia. We have incredible guanciale. We're very, very lucky. Not sure where you are in the world. If you cannot find guanciale, well, I guess you should move somewhere else. <laughs> if you, for some reason, can have uh, pork, could be a religion or personal choice, you can go for duck salami. You can go for duck bacon cured beef, you know, just try to replace that. Or you can go vegetarian. You can do zucchini or mushrooms. Look at the fat turning into oil. Huh? Look how special it is. Special, guys. So special. Fantastico. I love it. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Like the guanciale is caramelizing. We got two, maximum three minutes to go. How do you know when the guanciale is ready? You know when it becomes crispy, and I'll show you what it means, crispy. And this is what I mean when I say crispy. Oh, look what happened, guys. Look at that. The oil is there, beautiful flavors from the guanciale fat. This is crispy. Mmm. Yum. It's ready, so let's make the risotto. Okay, guys, the first thing to do 
When you cook risotto is to put a generous amount of extra virgin olive oil, about three, four tablespoons. And we're going to cook the onion, okay? We want to caramelize the onion, saute the onion for about five minutes. Now the process of cooking risotto, we want to use a medium high heat, okay? Don't go too gentle, medium high is what we're looking for. Guys, at this point you can see the onion is beautiful caramelized. It's ready to be mixed with the rice. So we want to toast the rice. Here we have 300 grams of rice that we want to toast for about two minutes on a medium high heat. Make sure you keep stirring, okay? Otherwise the rice might burn, okay? We don't want to burn the rice. We just want to toast it and mix it with the onion. You basically want the onion to disappear in the rice. After two minutes, guys, what you do is you add the wine, okay? So the wine will go in it. The wine will give the perfect amount of acidity level that you need, but at the same time, when you add the wine is when you start counting the time. So basically on the rice packet, it should tell you how long the rice needs to cook. My rice today needs 16 minutes to cook, okay? So from now, I'm counting 16 minutes. Oh, I love the smell of white wine in my nostril. <laughs> Guys, see what's happening over here? See, this is drying up. The wine already disappeared. See, we don't want the rice to dry up, okay? We do not want that. So, we start adding the stock, okay? A little bit at a time. Here we cover the rice, stir, and we keep counting the time, okay? We have about 13 minutes left. We never want the rice to be dry. We always want the rice to be wet. See what's happening over here? It's drying up, okay? It's getting there. In about a minute, we need to put more stock because it's drying up. We do not want the rice to dry up. Here we go with more stock. Perfect. And spread the love. I'm going to add more stock. I've got some here just in case. I might not need it, but here it is, just in case I need it. Five more minutes of cooking the rice. Okay guys, it's now time to prepare the sauce for this risotto, the carbonara sauce. So we're gonna use two egg yolks and one entire egg, okay? And these are beautiful, beautiful eggs. And here is the, oh, wow, it broke, but it's done, thank God. <laughs> it broke directly in there, how lucky am I? Huh? And here we have the three eggs. Now you want to beat the eggs. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna be generous with the pepper. Generous and mix. I've got four tablespoons of pecorino here. We're going to add a little bit at a time, okay? A little bit at a time and we mix until we create a pecorino and egg cream. A little bit more. There we go. Beautiful. Look how beautiful this is. Let's add a little bit more. I want to keep some for decoration, you know, to put it on top of the risotto. But this should be enough. See, as you can see, a carbonara mix. It's thick, but just slightly, slightly runny. Actually, a little bit more pecorino. Just a little bit more. So what I've got here, as you can see, it's a thick and a little bit runny cream. And when I mix this with the risotto, oh my God, it's gonna turn into a carbonara. Bellissimo, bellissimo, bellissimo. Let's be more generous with the pepper. And here we go. All right, guys, see what we have over here? We have the eggs, and here we have the beautiful oil from the guanciale, okay? What we wanna do 
You just want to put a little splash of oil of guanciale in the egg because we want to give the extra flavor to the egg, okay? Ah, beautiful. The flavors in here are sensational. So it's going to take your eggs to the next level. So what we do now, we put just a little bit of salt, not too much because we have lots of pecorino cheese, a nice amount of pepper, generous amount of pepper. Be kind to your pepper. Mmm. Yum, yum. Now we're going to add the 50 grams of butter. Now we can switch off the stove right now, the cooktop. We combine all the ingredients. The butter is going to help to combine all the ingredients. It is a very important ingredient right now. And see, it's becoming creamy as well, thanks to the butter. But as you can see, we have a little bit of stock in there, okay? And the stock, the water, the starch, is what we need to combine our beautiful eggs with the rice. Now, we take off the saucepan from the heat. We don't, wanna, we don't want this to be on the stove. Quick mix. And what we do now is we add the egg mix, okay? We add the egg mix in there, just put it everywhere, spread it everywhere. What you can do is you can get some rice to help you here. You can get some rice to help you collecting the extra egg. Just put it in there. And here we go. The reason why we take off the, the pan from the stove, as you know, if you're a carbonara lover, you take it off, otherwise this becomes scrambled eggs. We don't want scrambled eggs. So what we do now, we quickly, quickly stir. Look at that. Look at that carbonara look. Look at this carbonara risotto. Look at this. Look. The egg, it's cooking now with the heat. And it's safe to eat, okay? It is safe. But look at this. Look at the risotto. This can be breakfast, lunch, dinner, midnight snack. Look how bello this is. Hmm? Look how fantastic this is. Let's put more pecorino here. Let's go with more pecorino. Make it creamier. We stir more, stir. Oh, bellissimo. Look how creamy this carbonara risotto is. Oh, bellissimo. All right, time to serve it, come on. Guys, the manticatura is very important when you do risotto, okay? So let, it, let the risotto jump if you can, or use the spoon as much as you can. But the risotto needs to jump. Ah, bellissimo, bellissimo, bellissimo. Come on, let's serve this beauty. Time to serve the carbonara risotto. Ooh, hello baby. Now this is what we need to do with the rice. You put your hand under the plate, okay? It's a flat plate, and you just go like this. Just go like this. So you spread your rice, okay? We spread the rice, and now we can finish it off. To finish this off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put lots of pepper, generous amount of pepper, and then we're going to get the guanciale, the beautiful, crispy guanciale right on top here in the middle. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful, crispy baby. Amazing, amazing. Last but not least, sprinkle of pecorino cheese. And just like that, your risotto alla carbonara is ready to be served. You know what time it is? 
It's risotto la carbonara time! It's time to eat, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how creamy this carbonara is. It's been more than five minutes, but we had to take photos. But as you can see, inside, it's still very nice and creamy. Look at that. Look at this beautiful carbonara. The eggs turn into cream. The beautiful pecorino helped to turn into cream. The guanciale is nice and crispy. Guys, this it's a dish that you need to try. When we eat this dish, you want to try and get the guanciale, the rice, the pepper. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow. A risotto with a very delicate taste. I didn't expect this to be, to be so delicate. The crispy guanciale gives the kick. The eggs melt beautifully in the risotto. The pecorino is there to telling you I am the tastier. And the pepper, it's just simple, simplicity at its best. Mm. 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 Come on guys, if Alfredo can have a pasta, Vincenzo can have a risotto. So you can call this risotto alla Vincenzara. <laughs> mm. 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 So thank you so much for watching this episode. I will see you on the next Vincenzo's Play video recipe. E ora si mangia Vincenzo's Play.